Hey everybody, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be working on a chainsaw. And you have the comment down below if you've heard of this brand or not, but John Sreds, uh, Sweden? Um, I have not heard of it. A uh, customer just brought it in saying, has to clean it up, do a tune up on it, and you know, make sure everything is working the way that it should. So let's get to work. Well, it's got this pretty sweet uh, bar chain cover, custom wood, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> um, the customer did state that it runs, uh, so I'm not gonna pull the exhaust off. If you watched any of my previous videos, uh, the first thing I always do is pull the exhaust off to inspect the piston and the uh, rings and the cylinder. He says it runs, so just need to go once over on it. So we'll make sure there's gas in it, which there is. Check the chain oil. Whoa, that sucker's on there tight. And there's plenty of oil in there. Let's remove the top. You'll see that looking at this filter, this is actually looks like plastic. And sometimes this is a felt. Um, so that looks really clean. I'm not gonna pull the spark plug out yet. Um, make sure the choke lever works. We'll also make sure that the bar lock is working or the bar lock, chain lock. So right now it's, it's letting the chain spin. Uh, the chain could use some tensioning, but we'll lock it and it doesn't move. Unlock it and it moves, so that's good. All right, to set the tension on the the chain on the bar, you gotta loosen these two nuts. Come on. <laughs> They're on there pretty tight. Once you kind of got the bar loose, um, on this particular model, behind the bar where you can't see, there is a screw that you have to turn either in or out, depending on which way you want to go. So I'm going to turn it in a little bit, spin the chain, and then check it for tension. I always like to do it so the, the actual drive link piece here, um, just as you pull it, it just barely comes to the, the edge of the bar there. So I like that. Now we might have to redo that after we run it. Let me just tighten these nuts back up. Uh, it's in the off position right now. I'm just gonna pull the cord. And there's definitely good compression in it. Nothing's really, I'd say, it feels like it's bound up. So it's good compression. All right, next we're gonna try to start it up. Once I get it started, I'll let it idle get warm um, and we'll make sure that all the RPMs are at the right levels. So we'll choke it. So I checked to make sure that the oiler is working. You can see on my piece of cardboard the, the lines here. Uh, and that means that the chain is definitely getting oiled. Um, I ran it for a bit, so now I come back and I check my tension. That looks good. And yeah, it idles fine, it RPMs up fine. It's right where it needs to be. So I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit and we'll be done with this one. Well, that was a short and sweet video today. Obviously you could tell my content that I'm putting up just depends on the number of jobs that I have coming in. Um, 
Depending on when you watch this, I am going to start posting uh, some videos of a tote goat that I purchased. It's a little mini bike uh, from the 60s. So you'll see that kind of interwined in here with doing repairs for customers. Um, so that should be fun. I appreciate you watching. Uh, again, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. If you like my content, please click that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you in my next video.